Would little... you say that uh, the mood comedy has changed uh, much for you? Because you've been performing, you were telling me, for 29 years? 29 years in this town. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, I was I was with Presley's for 11 years. Oh, yeah? And... Did they adopt you? Were you one of the Presley's? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yeah, I found out in 2001 my last name wasn't spelled correctly. Well, oh, yeah. really? Was, was that when Jerry Springer was in town? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it was really hard to to change material mm-hmm. there. It was it was kind of the, well, this, it ain't broke, let's not fix yeah. it. People like it. Yeah, mm-hmm. and people kept coming in the door. That was fine. But And then when they told me I didn't work there anymore... It was kind of, uh, it was scary Mm -hmm. because I hadn't been anywhere else for 11 years. Didn't know if anybody else would hire me. But then when I I got another job and and I I got to play with some of the other toys I'd found. Right, right. And it it felt so much better to be able to do something different Mm -hmm. and and to put a little of that spice into a routine. Spread your wings a little bit. Yeah, Yeah, because we all... If if you're not getting a divorce, you know somebody that is. Yeah. If you got family that's going through this or that, well, why not have fun with it? Exactly. Because people come to town to have fun. Mm-hmm. Leave all that political correctness crap at the city limit sign. Let's just party and have a good time. Yeah. Yeah, I branch. totally agree. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I've noticed a mood change. I've only been here 10 years. Uh, so you were here... During the big boom era, as yes. they say. Uh, yeah. When was that? 97 or uh, No, earlier than that. 91, oh, really? 92. Mm-hmm. That's when Nashville started to come in. Yeah. And when that, when that happened, I haven't spoke to anybody about this before. When that happened, you were obviously here working. Um, was there a big, huge change in Branson? Did suddenly we have all these other people taking an interest in the area? Right. And what was it like from an entertainment aspect? Well, I was at Presley's at that time. Mm-hmm. And we watched uh, several of the uh, other shows, local shows, go out of business. But I think that when Nashville came in and these big mega theaters were built, it raised the standard of of uh, show content or show presentation. Mm-hmm. I know Presley's bought a lot of uh, lighting fixtures and updated and, everything. Yes, mm-hmm. and started to spend more money on put clothes. In, uh, put in bathrooms. Yes, and, yeah, <laughs> indoors. <laughs> really? Yeah. Fancy. Exactly. <laughs> High class. <laughs> yeah, they carpeted the bathroom, loved it so much, they ran it all the way up to the house. You oh. Know? <laughs> That's nice. So, <laughs> but, yes, I would say that the production level of the shows took a dramatic increase, mm-hmm. but... You know, when the Foggy River Boys closed up and the Plummer family closed up and Bobble Links and a lot of these local shows uh, just evaporated. Branson became something different then. It was. Yeah. But you could sit on the sidewalk and in five minutes probably see 30 different state license plates drive by. Mm -hmm. Was that odd? Because I would guess before that it was mostly Missouri, Arkansas, Oklahoma. Just like now. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. And suddenly... You have New Yorkers and right, completely different mindset. Yep. Mm-hmm. And where else could you go to see Andy Williams, Ray Stevens, Mel Tillis, Mo Bandy, Tony Orlando, Wayne Newton doing 12 shows a week and all you had to do was pick and choose? It was the most unique town in the world. It was. At yeah. that time. I remember my grandmother would come here. I, I didn't know what Branson was. Honestly, when I got hired, mm-hmm. I had no idea where Branson was. I had never really heard of it. And the only thing I knew was she came to Branson in the 90s, and she would get on a bus, and she would go away for a week, and she'd come back, and she'd have these clothes that we would have to throw away. Mm-hmm. And that's all I knew. And I didn't know anything else. <laughs> <laughs> I knew nothing, but mm-hmm. she would rave about Andy and all that. Yeah. And- and uh, well, and on Presley's show, one of those years, the the Grand Palace was open at the time, and the Oak Ridge Boys were the big act in there, and so Presleys were kind of trying to fine tune their show in the early spring, and so that they were happy with it when the summer crowds came, and they asked me, I'm not a singer, used to sing, but gave it up when I was asked to be more of a comedian, and 
They asked me to sing an Oak Ridge Boys song at the end of the show when I came out as Perry. Mm -hmm. And I said, you want me to out Oak Ridge Boys, the Oak Ridge Boys? They're here. They're at the next theater right down the street. That's hilarious. Yeah. And I said, uh, I can't out sing them, but I think I can sell happy. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, you go out there and you bebop and, yeah. and you have a good time and smile at the crowd. That's... That's what you want. Just the keep the momentum of a good time, right? Right. Happening. I say that in uh, some songs that I see in shows or in our show, uh, we're doing an Andy Williams song. This mm -hmm. is a few years ago. I'm like, you know, he's here. Like yeah. he, he's pretty good at that. Yeah. <laughs> we we don't need to do Andy <laughs> <Yeah>. Williams <laughs> or uh, the Osmonds or whatever. Right. You know, they're here. Yeah. We don't need to to do. They've got that. Yeah. So, you know. They keep doing it pretty well, too. They do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People remember them. So you've been here 29 years. I'm guessing that you're a little older than 29. I so am. you're mid-30s. Yeah. So you moved to Branson. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm saying born in the mid-30s. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so what actually brought you here? What is your background? Well, I've always been... Uh, I was a musician and singer. I was on the road for a few years and... Uh, Kind of settled down, got off the road. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Ozzy Osbourne goes off the road, yes, so he doesn't yes. need you now. Yeah, you know. and uh, landed in Des Moines, Iowa. Got a day job at a sheet metal factory and played music in, in Des Moines at night. And then uh, a friend of mine, steel guitar player, uh, who was in the band I was in at the time, he got approached by uh, a show owner in Osage Beach, Missouri, which mm -hmm. is about two and a half hours north of here. And... Uh, he was telling me what working there would be like. You do a show one night a week, two-hour show. Oh, that would be awesome if yeah. that was true. Yeah, that would be so, so awesome. And I said, well, ask him if he needs a drummer, because that's what I was, yeah. singing drummer. And the guy did. So I ended up moving to Osage Beach, Missouri in 1980. Mm -hmm. And I worked a couple different shows there for seven years. And the season there kept getting shorter. And I heard about Branson, so I came down to look, and and I, it was such a pretty looking town. Everything was so well kept. Mm -hmm. Looked like people cared about their businesses. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I found out that the season was longer in Branson, and you know, if you're raising a family, you'd kind of like a, a paycheck more weeks yeah, out of the that'd year. Be nice. So uh, I got lucky to get hired on a show in. Uh, 1987 that lasted for about two months yeah that never happens <laughs> yeah <right there. laughs> our joke is when a new show opens that you just start filling out the small claims forms right along with the application yeah heaven forbid you win best new show of the year because you won't be there the second mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. unless you buy that award right. you can buy those <laughs> oh can you <laughs> i've heard oh. <laughs> so the billboards so um then i got hired by the plumber family in mm -hmm. middle of 87 and i was with them till 1990 when they sold the theater and then i got hired by uh presley's to they asked me if i would do a pre-show a comedy pre-show for 30 minutes and i'd never done it before mm -hmm. and they said we'll pay you 250 dollars a week oh and i thought let's see a half hour times six shows that's three hours 250 but that's over 80 dollars an hour yeah well i figured they'd They'd let me do it for four weeks to find out I wasn't capable of it. Yeah. I could make a thousand dollars failing. <laughs> yeah, right. 